Hello Sagittarius, I'm Karma. This is my channel, Karma on Deck. Welcome for those of you that are back. Welcome back and happy solstice. Today is your June 23rd through June 29th tarot reading for next week. A little ahead of the game, but I know you'd rather have early than late, so let's get this done and see. Okay, kids, here we go. This is for Sagittarius. Hi. So the first thing that comes up is the Empress, and the Empress is all about protection. Like there's things, people, family, that you wanna protect, that you're feeling a stewardship over and for. This is typically a female card, but it also plays with you know that protective energy. The World card is coming up. The Sun card is coming up. The Knight of Coins. You have some things going on where you've been a little bit... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's all about you having... Um, some behaviors with your money that you're not that you haven't followed through with but you have some major cards going on let's continue and see what shows up here king of coins things are definitely getting better for you financially and then the six of swords and maybe that's what you're protecting is your money right now then i have the six of swords which is things getting easier so things are lightening up for you you haven't been able to having to work so hard um you have some new energy coming your way there's definitely some Four of Swords, which is pressure. So upcoming, you're going to have some pressure a little bit. And um, I don't know. I'm getting impulsive behavior from you. Like, I don't know if you've been snappy too, because we have the Knight of Coins and the Knight of Wands. That has to do with like impulsive behavior. Lately, they've been showing up like behavior, like that. The High Priestess is showing up in your life. The High Priestess is someone with intuition and insight. Um, if you have a teacher or someone who is very spiritual... Um, seeing that you're also tapping into some of those energies, your intuition, your um, anxiety is kicking in a little bit too, and some nervous behavior. You are feeling like you're a little stuck though. The hangman is showing up, so that's like purgatory, feeling in between, not moving forward, not moving back, just kind of a stagnancy. The Four of Wands is all about protecting house and home though. So you have this card as well as the Four of Wands. So that's where you spend most of your time lately. And um, some of the things and foundations that you've laid are starting to pan out, by the way. Just so you know that there's some money issues that are going to start showing you um, improvement. You've been putting money on it, it seems like. Queen of Swords, um, you've been walk you feel like you're going to walk away from something, um, leaving some things behind. And then I have the Page of Swords, which is... <laughs> Snappy. So if you've been a little snappy lately, that full moon is doing it to me. I don't know about you, but planetary shifts have affected a lot of us, for sure. So right now you're all about your money, Sagittarius. And you're all about work and keeping things pretty, like, within control, within range, and protective of that. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, I'm Karma from KarmaOnDeck.com. So you can text me or uh, give me a shout if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me. Please let me know where you are in the world, how you feel your reading went. Leave me a comment, please. And I'm going to pull a card for you from the Divination of the Ancients. So you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Um, here we go. Uh-oh, lots. So it says chance. Ooh, ooh, I like. And I just bought a set of um, runes, too. And there's runes on here. And I can't wait to play with them. I'll show them to you. Hold on. I pulled them out in a reading the other day on my live, the last one I did. And it was pretty significant. Yeah. So let's see what this has to say. So lots. Jameson's getting it. Get him, Jameson. Guard. <laughs> he did the woo-woo. All right. So it says an opportunity for you has been cast. Do you have the courage to take the chance or are you that you are being given or will you let it pass you by? What happens? Whatever happens, your life will change, but it's up to you which way it will go. You've been asking for just this, for something different, something exciting to happen. You know you'll never be com um, contented to rest on your laurels. Maybe that's that stagnancy that you were feeling, you know, like just things aren't moving forward, aren't moving back. 
that was the whole hangman card. The hangman isn't about being hung by a noose. The hangman's about like being stuck in a place. Like between two trees, you're being strung up by the arms and you're stuck and you can't move forward, you can't move back. It's purgatory, right? So it says, you know you'll never be contented to rest on your laurels. If you really want to spice up your life, and you know you do, then it's time for adventure. Life happens for those who take a chance, but nothing happens for those who don't. Take the risk. The lots card says go for it. So the more you experience, the stronger and more confident you will become. Take up an opportunity that allows you to work towards reaching your full potential. Don't be afraid to build on solid foundations when the chance to do so arises, be it a financial opportunity or someone's change of heart. So it says there's an incantation that you can use during your meditation. And it says lots are cast, the stones are laid, conclusions drawn, decisions made. Yes, I know not where to place my will. Go I with chance or remain I still. Well, there you have it, Sagittarius. take a chance will you me likes that that's kind of cool all right so i'm karma with karma on deck thank you for hanging out with me i will see you next week you know what to do talk to you later